beginning of chapter 9, Saul becomes Paul and gets saved and is used to write half of your New Testament, perhaps one of the greatest Christians ever in this time period or ever in life because of one guy who refused to take vengeance and become bitter and simply said, Father, would you have mercy upon what they have done to me? Would you give him a chance to get saved? And this guy by the name of Saul hears that, and that must have rocked his world. He said, I'm so full of anger and hate. I'm arresting Christians, and, and I call myself a follower of God, but that Stephen guy, I can't get that image out of my mind. I saw him. He's praying for me. He's asking for mercy, and I'm the guy that's supposed to be the religious leader, and he couldn't shake it day after day, however many days it was. But it's only one chapter later, at the beginning of chapter 9, this Saul, I'm sure he couldn't shake it. I want to know that kind of love. I want to have that kind of love of a Stephen. And he gets saved because of one man by the name of Stephen refused to let vengeance come out of his mouth. Hey, Jesus, won't you come and dress me in your thoughts? Pick out your favorite ones I'm 